Some South Florida doctors could be on the forefront of developing a treatment for the most severe coronavirus patients. A new trial involving stem cells is now happening at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. CBS 4's Mike Cunio takes a look. Later this week, Dr. Camilo Ricordi, the University of Miami, and the Jackson Health System will begin FDA-approved clinical trials testing the effects of stem cells from umbilical cords on patients fighting the coronavirus. One single umbilical cord from one single newborn can save or could be used to treat over 10,000 patients. During this slide presentation, Dr. Ricordi explained that these mesenchymal cells are typically used for improving kidney function and treating diabetes. But in China and Israel, they've been given to COVID-19 patients through an IV and seen remarkable improvements. If you see the image of the lung, uh, the white, uh, the gray area is the affected area of the lung. Within days, from February 2nd to February 9th, you have complete, uh, almost complete resolution. These cells have anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antiviral properties. To be cells that can sense tissue injury and promote tissue repair and regeneration. So it's a, it's a healing function. Dr. Ricordi says this project is entirely funded through philanthropy and the Cure Alliance. 12 COVID-19 patients will be used in this stem cell study. Another 12 will be used as a control group receiving traditional treatments. The benefit of these trials is results come within days and not months or years. You mentioned you want to, you know, be careful with the hype. When people see this, can you explain, is this a treatment or a cure? This is, a, is both. If it works as we succeed, uh, this is a treatment for the severe cases in which the complications are taking over and can lead to death uh, in a very rapid uh, fashion. Dr. Accordi tells me he's actually gotten requests from all over the world from people want to collaborate on this project. And not only that, they're hoping to get other hospitals ready just in case this project is successful. At Jackson Memorial, Mike Cunio, CBS4 News.